Hey guys, welcome to your uh, single love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your April 2024. You're going to have this here Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? Your blocks and challenges. And then we'll finish off and we just see what else you guys need to know. Look out for work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Um, you may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If they're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when the new videos post and when to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, uh, I am doing another giveaway, you guys, this time for two free 30-minute personal readings with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter in my YouTube community tab. I will announce the winners on uh, April 12th, all right? So, single Libras. Tell me about single Libras here. What's going on with single Libras in love? Blocks and challenges for single Libras in love. For April 2024, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Libras. For single Libras. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here, all right? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of guys could be focusing on your work at this time. If there's any obstacles, blocks that's creating blockages and opening yourself up to love, I feel like you guys are actively working on removing, uh, removing that at this time, okay? So we have the Chariot here, Cancer Energy. Some of you guys have strong water energy in your chart here, especially Cancer here. Ace of Pentacles, okay. Four Swords. Seems like you guys are finding kind of like stability and peace, just being on your own at this time here, okay? A lot of you guys could be focusing on your careers right now, focusing on your wealth, focusing on your prosperity here. Focusing on taking your career to the next level here. So, you know, when it comes to love right now, I'm not really quite seeing it. A lot of you guys are just trying to, you know, live the happiest life as you can. You know, trying to find balance here and stability, okay? So, you know, I don't feel like you're dealing with anybody right now. But I feel like there could, you know, I feel like you could be, you know, dealing with some blocks and challenges where you're having a hard time opening yourself up to new love. Some with the Eight of Pentacles here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah. I do feel like some of you guys struggle and deal with abandonment issues. So I feel like when it comes to that, you guys could struggle romantically with other people because you just don't trust if they will stick around for you. Because I feel like there's been people that have abandoned you so many, so many times in the past, you know, and this could go back to your childhood here too. Queen of Cups here, the Hermit, Virgo energy. A lot of you guys are definitely doing a lot of self-work at this time, doing some soul searching. Yeah, introspecting, self-reflecting here. This is a really great energy to be in, you guys, you know? So, uh, you know, it's really a, a great thing that you guys are doing this because I feel like you guys are definitely going through some sort of transformation here some sort of release here too. Any sort of trauma, any sort of pain that you've dealt with here in the past, you're releasing here, you're glowing up. So I feel like you're, so Libra at this time, you're going through some sort of spiritual ascension here, okay? we Because you're going from a queen to an empress here, the empress Libra Taurus here. Nine of Wands, the Justice card, and the Seven of Wands here. Seems like you guys are in this energy, I really want, it seems like you guys are in this energy of just protecting yourselves, protecting your boundaries, you know, uh, and protecting your energies here too, okay? What else do we have here for single Libras? Is there anyone new coming in for single Libras? What else does single Libras need to know, look out for, work on? For April 2024, Sun Rising Venus signs for single Libras. Seven of Pentacles. 
King of Wands, okay. So there's a masculine here, two of swords, all right. Six of Wands. There could be someone coming in with some sort of regret here. This is a past person, if y'all. This person has struggled you. This person has very been always been very indecisive. This person has always had other options here. You know, I do feel like this person tends to operate in the ego. So anything that you have dealt with this with this individual, I feel like you were pulling teeth with this person here. I don't see anybody new coming in, but I see a glow up happening here. And as soon as you glow up, this person's coming back around. Just keep in mind, we are entering Mercury retrograde here. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of past stuff that's coming back around. I do believe that this is going to be a very heavy Mercury retrograde because we're coming off the lunar eclipse and then we're entering the solar eclipse pretty soon here too. So, you know, keep in mind, eclipses are really intense. It's like five full moons in one. All right. Uh, so we have the Sun of Pentacles here and the Sun. Yeah, this could be indicate this, this a strong Leo energy is coming in for you. I really feel like this is a past person because I feel like someone here is coming in with some sort of regret here, okay? This could also be indication that you're no longer wasting your time on this person. You just know that this person is going to let you down. You just know that this person's an a-hole. Son of Wands here in the Knight of Cups, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like someone here is definitely going to... Uh, I mean, I don't want to say shoot, you know, but someone here is going to shoot you with their, um, with the Cupid's arrow. I, 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 I do feel like someone here wants to be with you, okay? So, so give me a little more about this Knight of Cups here. Yeah, this is someone from the past that's coming back around, wanting to make you some sort of offer, wanting to apologize here, the Two of Swords. In the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone here is definitely trying to figure out how to come back around to you. Someone is trying to hit you with Cupid's arrow, but I feel like you just didn't expect that it would be this past person here. Because I do feel like you want someone new here, okay? I, I don't know, maybe some of you guys do want this old person here. But I do feel like this person has been very in and out of your life. This person has been very indecisive here. This person has let you down multiple times here. It seems like this, this person always has options here, but I do get a, a reconciliation energy coming in for you guys. The uh, Five of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. Some here is definitely looking for a passionate new beginning here. You know, it, co it could also be a situation that, you know, perhaps you're not really looking for anything serious at this time and you don't want anyone from your past here and you're focusing on the present. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I don't see new love coming in. I mean, you could be going out there having fun at the same time, but you're not really finding or that there's no one, you know, uh, serious that you're going to be dealing with here, okay? So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.